Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and more. Follow Elliot in the Morning everywhere social at EITM Online. Tyler, Josh? How's it going? Hey, how you boys doing? Doing great. Doing great. Good, good, good. Listen, I know we don't have a ton of time. Uh, So let's start first things first. May 19th, are we excited for the cinema experience? Absolutely. We, uh... Put a lot of time into it. Basically, what this is, it, you know, we when we released our record last year, we we did it uh, while also kind of capturing a live uh, performance, live stream performance, one time only. And since then, we we went back and we we mixed and mastered the audio, um, and we kind of pieced it together with some other behind the scenes footage to kind of show you how we did it, how we pulled off that many songs, that many set pieces, that many uh, different. You know, uh, what did we like change our outfits like six times? Um, and now it's going to be one time showing in the movie theaters all over the country and even the world. And so, yeah, that's what we're we're excited for. It's mixed to the audio is mixed for, for a theater. So it's like nothing we've ever done before. And it's really exciting. Hey, so let, let me ask you two things about that is like if, if you go back and watch the trailer. And like I said, I know that that this was done last year. And then there's like about 20, 30 minutes of, of stuff that nobody has seen. And I get that. But there's one part in the trailer where you guys talk about how you'd been asked for years, like, hey, would you guys ever do something like this? And the answer was always no. What ultimately led to the what ultimately led to the change? Well, I think, uh, you know, to be perfectly honest, it was 2020 live music got shut down sure. and kind of the, 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 you know, the lifeblood of what made our band kind of move uh, was, was taken from us, you know, us being playing in front of our, our fans and, and playing with them has always been what has kind of propelled us forward in our career at each turn, especially in the beginning. And so, because we just felt like we were so in touch with that magic that can be made in a, in a live concert, we felt like there's no way that you can capture that and recreate that and, you know, kind of fit it into a, a live stream, you know, through a screen. And, uh, and that's why we were pretty adamant up until that point uh, that, no, we're not going to do that. You got you to gotta come see us for real to see us. And right. uh, then we were, we, our hand was forced. And so we knew, okay, if we're going to do this, Let's do it different. Let's do it. Let's make it more engaging, more interesting, worth worth the, the dollar, and um, and really try to lean into that word experience rather than it just being a live stream show. Which can you know so many of these shows that are live stream can can get so dull so fast. And we knew we had to make a turn it, you know, every few minutes into something interesting and and make it all kind of a cohesive story and a destination and a beginning and an end and so we we worked on it for about eight and a half months and uh now we have a final product so if if on may 19th all of us are going to be sitting in a theater and uh and watching the cinema experience what are you guys doing on may 19th i'm ordering pizza (laughs) i hope for an entire theater that you're surprising with it (laughs) yeah no i don't know josh we haven't talked about it are we which which theater we want to go to? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll just I don't know we'll just pick a random one. We'll show up, sit in the and and you know right right in the middle because no one who wants to sit in the front. Dude, um, let's do a, let's do a red carpet. Let's do a red carpet at your house. I'll get we'll we'll get real dressed up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll yeah we'll do a red carpet here. And then, uh, and then head to the movie theater, buy some popcorn. Excellent. And, and pizza for everyone. Excellent, excellent. Hey, let's kind of stick in the in the in the kind of the the video, audio video world, if you will, a little bit. Um, the video for the uh, the video for the outside came out not too uh, not too long ago. Dude, that thing's trippy. Yeah, that's um, that's one of our favorite videos. You know, it, it does. Uh, we've always we've always had a an underlying storyline. Um, happening with all of our music i know a lot of people you know kind of casually listen which is you know totally fine uh but we we also for our our really involved fans they know kind of uh some of these these different characters and these plot points and everything has kind of been connected since the beginning of us making music and that was always something that we've we've uh we've enjoyed doing is tying a story and so that every once in a while we kind of like that that storyline that we try to keep 
you know, underlying. Um, every once in a while, it pops its head up and, and starts to become more of the of the main approach. And that's what the outside is. It's basically a continuation of a story. And it's, I oh mean, I couldn't even get into all the details. Our fans know it, though, and uh, it got pretty involved. And I know it's supposed to look cold. Was it cold? <laughs> Because part of it is I'm like, nah, it's Hollywood. Like, these guys know what they're right. doing. And then there's part of it, and no offense, but there's part of it I look at it and go, God damn it, Josh looks like he's freezing his ass off. <laughs> you know, it's like, what's kind of, what is funny is like, we've shot videos before that are not supposed to be in a cold setting where, it, where when we're shooting it, it's actually nine degrees outside. And then there's other ones where it's, uh, you know, it's like, 60 70 degrees but it's supposed to be freezing so um yeah it's 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 weird how you know it's just kind of just like all right well we need this kind of environment and uh and we got to make it just seem that way and so um i i I guess i would just say that that tyler and i video music video by music video are just becoming better and better actors well goddamn josh you deserve an oscar because i for a for not telling me if it was hot or cold and b by just making me think it was cold good for you (laughs) <laughs> I will say it was it was decently warm outside of the water, but I was in the Pacific Ocean and it was yeah. freezing. So they, oh, was okay, cold. all right. Someone <laughs> wants to weasel in on the best acting Oscar. That's fine. And then, um, okay, so May nineteenth, we get the we we get the the the, the cinema experience, um, and then there's a, a little bit of a break, and then everything kind of uh, tour wise, everything kind of starts rolling up again or keeps going again. I should say it all kind of starts. I think with Bottle Rock is when everything thing starts going is that a have you i don't i don't know if you guys have done that festival before but to me that festival always looks awesome yeah we haven't done that one before um and uh and i guess i i didn't really know a whole lot about it but leading up to it uh just kind of like i think we're kind of like getting phone calls about uh you know what do you want to do on that weekend there's this this and this and it's like you know, apparently in a, a really, a really beautiful place with a lot of great sort of like culinary uh, experiences close by. And I, I'm looking forward to it. I think more and more as, as the time leads up to that festival. And then in terms of in terms of putting the tour together, is it I mean, great, great for you guys that it's gotten to what it is. But do you get to be a little bit more picky with laying everything out on the road or is it just, you know what, schedule them in and here we go? I think they are, are, you know, the people who book our shows, they, they like to make it seem like we we're in charge of when we play and where, but we're not. <laughs> I mean, it's such a <laughs> booking. Booking is such a puzzle piece and such a, there's such a science to it. Like making sure that you can drive that far in that amount of time, you can only go to so many cities from each city and, you know, trying to make sure, you know, cause all the gear, it's, you know, rented, you know, per week. And so you got to make sure you're, you know, we're breaking even, you know, hopefully on spending money on, I mean, that's, that's the pickle that we've gotten into is we've tried, we want to make sure that we're out doing ourselves every time we go out and we top the last show and you just start to realize, Oh, we, we got to get, we, we got to get uh, smart here because, you know, we've, we've played shows where, you know, our ticket price doesn't even cover the cost of the production that we're putting up there. But, right. but again, that's us that from the beginning, you know, when Josh and I made our first 20 bucks off of a, off of a show, some dingy bar, we put that 20 bucks right into a, we made a, we made a band bank account and put that money right back into the, the show. And so that's kind of been our strategy from the beginning. So Good we'll for figure you. it out. Good for you. We just saw the announcement too. You guys are getting to do unplugged coming up in June. Yeah, we, yeah, I didn't know if that went up yet. I guess, yeah, we've been, we've been grinding, working on uh, our, our uh, MTV Unplugged event that we're doing here soon. And, you know, I, I think to harp on Josh, I mean, him and Josh and I have been getting together a lot talking about this. We're doing it differently than we've ever done it before. Um, and, you know, when you think of Unplugged, you think of, you know, just on an acoustic guitar. Really, my interpretation of it is, seeing the artist or the band in a different light than they traditionally present themselves. And so usually Josh and I, when we perform, we, we do play to uh, pre-recorded tracks, um, tracks that we're proud of because we made them, but they're pre-recorded nonetheless. 
This time uh, for MTV Unplugged, we're, we're working on a set where you get to watch us build out uh, those tracks in, in part by part in real time. So we're, we're really excited about it. Oh, dude, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. All right, May 19th, the Cinema Experience. Uh, a couple of tour dates of note. August 23rd at the Garden in the City. August 24th, UBS Arena on the Island. September 3rd, Capital One Arena in D.C. September 9th, T-Mobile Center in Kansas City. Tyler, Josh, I appreciate the time. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you.